Hello students. In the last video, you were introduced to the first index law, which is a way to uh, multiply powers quickly. In this video, we're going to look at what happens when you raise negative numbers to powers. So here we have six questions, all similar to each other. We're raising negative one to the powers one to six. So let's go ahead and do these and then come up with a general rule for what happens when we raise negative one to a power. So any number to the power of one is just the number itself. Okay, negative one times negative one. Well, you should know how to multiply positive and negative numbers. A negative multiplied by a negative is a positive, so that becomes positive one. Here we have a negative one by negative one by negative one. Well, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 times negative 1 becomes negative 1. Here we have negative 1 multiplied by itself four times. Now, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 and times negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And hopefully you can see the pattern now that if we have an odd power like 1, 3, 5, the answer is negative 1. So if the exponent or index is odd, the answer is negative. If it is even, the answer is positive. So when you're raising negative numbers to powers, if it's an odd index or odd exponent, it's a negative answer. If it's an even index, it's a positive answer. Okay, now one thing we have to be careful of, especially when we're using a calculator, but even when we're doing these um, without a calculator, have a look at these two questions, which look almost the same. The only difference is we've got brackets around the negative two. So I'm gonna use my calculator to evaluate each of those. So for the first one, I have brackets. There's my negative button, by the way, on my calculator. Negative two raised to the power of four. Well, that's negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two. So based on what we did in the previous on the previous page, you can probably guess that it's gonna be a positive answer. So the answer is positive 16. Now, what about if I do the same question, but without the brackets? Negative two, <clears throat> excuse me, raised to the power of four. And that turns out to be negative 16. So the question is, why are we getting different answers? And it all has to do with order of operations. This question here says raise negative two to the power of four, which is negative two by negative two by negative two by negative two, which as we learned on the previous page will give us a positive answer. This question is basically saying order of operation says raise two to the power of four, which gives us 16, and then take the negative of your answer. Or in a way, it's like multiply it by negative one. So this is basically saying raise to the power first and then take the negative. And that's why we get negative 16. Oops, I just found out we got a mistake there. Sorry about that. Okay, can you go ahead, please, and try the two questions um, on the bottom of the page, please, on your own? And then we'll check answers. Okay, well, the first one means negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times a negative is a positive. 
The second one means square three, which is nine, and then take the negative of the answer. So that's why we get slightly different, we get different answers for those two expressions. So it's a common mistake that students make. So it's important that if you wanna square a negative number, you put brackets around the number and then square outside of the brackets. Okay, I'd like you to have a go, please, at um, evaluating these expressions. So stop the video and then restart once you've finished. Okay, let's see how you went. So negative 2 to the power of 1, or any number to the power of 1 is just itself. Negative times a negative is a positive, so that's positive 4. As we learned earlier in the video, if you're raising a negative number to the power of 3 or to any odd number, it's going to be negative. So that's going to become negative 8, positive 16, negative 32, positive 64, and so on. Once again, if the power is oh, sorry, if the power is even, the answer is going to be positive. If the power is negative, the answer is going to be negative. Okay, I'd like you to have a go, please, at um, these questions. So the instructions are first simplify using your index law. And if possible, sometimes it might not be. And then after you've done that, then evaluate the um, expression, the simplified expression. Okay, have a go. Okay, let's see how you went. Okay, so the base is the same. So that becomes negative 2. Important that we write the brackets. 2 plus 5 equals negative 2 in brackets to the power of 7. So that's the simplified version. And then we either have to use our brain or a calculator to evaluate that. Well, I know that 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So 2 to the power of 6 is double that, which is 64. Double it again is 128. Because the power is um, odd, it's going to be negative 128. And you can check that on your calculator if you wish. Now this question looks pretty similar to the previous one, <clears throat> but we're, in fact, we're going to get a slightly different, uh, it's a slightly different question because we don't have the brackets. So in this case, I've got negative of 5 times 2 times 5 times 3. So probably the best way to think of that is negative 1 times 5 squared times 5 cubed. That's effectively what that negative sign means. That's the same as negative 1 times 5 to the power of 5, which is the same as just negative 5 to the power of 5. So effectively, we use the index law 5 squared times 5 cubed is 5 to the fifth, and just keep the negative sign. Okay, well, 5 to the power of 5 is a bit tricky to do in our heads, so let's use the calculator for that. So, negative 5 raised to the power of 5. And I get negative 3,125. So because we got a negative sign there, not inside the brackets, the final answer is going to be negative. Okay, with the last one, because the bases are not the same, we can't apply any index laws. So all we can do here is just evaluate that. So again, I'm not too sure about doing 3 to the 5 in my head and then multiplying it by 5 squared. So let's use the calculator for this one. So negative 5 squared times 3 to the power of 5. And that gives us negative 6,000. 
and 75. Okay, so that video was just a look at um, raising negative numbers to powers because that, that is important and uh, it is pretty easy to make mistakes because the brackets really do make a difference. Okay, in the next video, we'll look at the second index law, which is a simplified way of dividing powers with the same base.